Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you hear um, the hangar doors blowing and the sound of rain, it's because uh, it does rain at least one day in a year in uh, Southern California. And today's that day, so it's raining pretty hard out there. But uh, I am safe and dry indoors, and so I'm gonna get a little work done today. And the, uh, the plan is, um, I'm gonna temporarily put the floorboard and rudder pedals in so that I can uh, figure out the cables. And we'll get the, uh, we'll get the cables kind of uh, installed and through the fair leads and everything, get the fair leads put in um, where I took them out to varnish everything. And then I just have these uh, fair leads temporarily installed so we can get the cables to come up out of here, go through these. And then I'll just pull it back and leave a little extra and those will get rigged later. Uh, uh, Hogs and Plains um, had a good recommendation right here um, to add a piece of plywood in on top of this so that when I put the fabric on here and I cut this section out, I've actually got something, uh, something here to attach the fabric to. Otherwise, it's just gonna sag right there. So, uh, good suggestion, thank you. I will get that, uh, I'll get that put in place. So I'll kind of scrape the uh, scrape the urethane off the top of that, get a piece of plywood on there, and that'll be cool. Uh, yeah, so we can, uh, I'm gonna get the pedals put on the uh, floorboard, and then I'll get the floorboard um, in the plane, and then once it's in the plane, we'll be able to come through the front uh, right here and just kind of loop the cables through and. Uh, First, I'll just I'll see if I can get a rough estimate of how long I think it's going to be, um, and then we'll uh, go from there. Just getting a couple things out of the way here. All right, so uh, let's get to it. All right, so the, the rudder and uh, steering arm cable is actually a loop, so and it loops through this bracket at the rudder pedal, and then it goes back to the aft edge here. So um, I was, I'm going to first just get a feel for how long the loop should be, so I just clipped it up, up on the other end there, and then I'll just take a guess here. It's gonna be somewhere around this long. Um, and then I'll double this length. So, and once I get that uh, doubled, I'll have a good idea of uh, what I need to do. And then hopefully after I got two links of that, I should have enough cable. I'm pretty sure I bought enough where I've got enough for my seatbelt uh, connection as well. So we're gonna get that in. Um, so this loop is going to be approximately approximately this long and that actually gives me a bunch of extra at the back uh, which is what I want but first I noticed I've got to install my fair leads right there so I'm gonna go grab those and get those put in and then we'll uh, we'll have something that we can actually loop it through so all right again if you didn't see the last video where I talked about this the purpose of this is we need to make sure that um, my uh, my pedo uh, static tube along with my uh, uh, cables that run back here along with the elevator cable we need to make sure all those things are not interfering with each other so um, so we're gonna get all those put in place here so that we can uh, ensure that that's all good um, that because that becomes much harder once we seal all this up back here with fabric so yeah, all right, so um, I need to grab those fair leads and then I'll be right back. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at the back, uh, the back of the plane here. I'm gonna run this through the fair lead and uh, 
and then uh, down through the plywood right here and then we're gonna just pull it all the way forward and we'll go through the fair lead here at the firewall at the uh, station behind the seat here which is right here so I'm gonna go through there And I'm going to go all the way forward through the rudder pedal, and this is just to get the link. We'll, 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 when we actually do the work on this, I think I'll pull the uh, pull this back out of there to make it easier. But uh, now, now we're through the fair lead. I'm going to go forward. I'll end up going through the pedal, and then we'll return all the way to the back, and we'll come out the bottom. And then we'll see uh, see what link we need. All right. So let me get this one uh, pulled through. Let's do this access hole here in the front. I can actually I can actually kind of pick this up and route it through. So uh, I know you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just putting it through that bracket on the rudder pedal, pushing some of it forward so I can grab it like so there you can see down in there feeds through grab it I'm gonna pull it back put it back through the fair lead right there and then we're going to pull this one back. We're going to go through this fair lead right here. That way it's installed. And then we're going to go out the plywood right here. And we'll leave ourselves uh, plenty to work with. Um, of course, we'll be making the connection here, but this will give me about a foot of cable extra. And then we're going to do what the same, kind of the same up here. Um, making sure that the uh, pedal's a little bit forward. I didn't want it coming all the way back because that's going to make this seem shorter. So, All right, so that gives us a good foot there. And then for this one, we're going to kind of do the same. We're going to come back, go very back. Because the rudder actually, uh, the uh, rudder actually, you know, it sits in here somewhere, so I'm going to make sure I've got plenty of room uh, here as well. I'm going to give myself a good foot, foot and a half, because um, then I'll, these will end up being basically equal on the back end once I cut this. So, now I know the length I need. grab my cutters and cut that off. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, pull that out um, and we will uh, we'll make a second one since I need one for each side, obviously. <laughs> so we'll make a second one and uh, uh, then we'll be able to uh, center them up on the pedals. Uh, then we'll be able to uh, put on the thimble and put the swage on uh, I've got some little clamps that I'll show you that, that will hold the cable while we're uh, swaging it so it doesn't slip around on us. So, all right, let me get this out. I'll get a second one cut, and then we'll, uh, we'll go to the next step. Now, I've uh, folded the cable over, um, basically just pulled the ends together over there so that I could create the loop here. And now I will I'll just make myself a mark on here so I know where my center is with my Sharpie. And that's where our thimble will go. 
All right, so I can find that mark. And now cut a second one. All right, so we're gonna run a quick, uh, a quick test so that we, uh, so that we know um, that we've got everything sort of situated. So, all right, so I'm using uh, 330 seconds. It's galvanized cable, so you use copper, uh, copper swage on that, and then uh, the correct thimble for that as well for a 330 seconds cable. And so first you just loop it through the swage, and you get it uh, looking like that. And then uh, you put your. All right, so a uh, little trick I learned is that you can use these uh, these cable. Uh, you can just get them at uh, Home Depot, um, and it's just a clamp. It's, I just use the one sixteenth inch one. See that cable clamp, and you can just use that to kind of push your swage um, up and hold it in place while you uh, get that kind of get that first crimp on there. Um, you would think these uh, would be quarter inch, but they're not. So I'm having to use a pair of pliers to hold them tight. Um, so I'm just pinching down a little bit on the cable. Not this doesn't even have to be really tight. There's enough friction there where it, where it just holds it nice, and then you don't have to sweat it. So now we take uh, take our swaging tool for. 3.30 seconds, which is the second hole here. All right, so you don't want to get the, uh, you don't want to get the thimble um, too tight uh, because uh, this is going to take up some of the slack when you swage it. So, uh, so I've got a little, a little bit of room there. So the first thing we're going we're gonna to do is we're going to swage it in the middle. Um, and uh, then once we do that, we'll swage it uh, two more times, one on uh, each end and uh, so I'll see if I can show you what that looks like here if I can do this on my own <laughs> all right so you can see the next one uh, came out well and uh, the uh, we test the uh, go no gauge on it and we're good uh, we're good all the way through so everybody is compressed uh, slightly more than it even needs to be so that's our slot right there all right Getting three on there, it's not that easy. Uh, it takes a little bit of, uh, I had to do it two more times before I uh, felt comfortable enough to jump to the plane and actually do it on there, so. All right. All right, so you can see I'm, uh, I'm set up here with my, uh, my uh, thimble on. Uh, it's going through my metal uh, bracket here, and I've got my uh, Nico Press uh, sleeve ready to go. I've got my black mark that I had right on top of the uh, um, right on top of the thimble, and I'm leaving a little bit of slack in the thimble so that it's because uh, it's gonna it's gonna take that up when we do this uh, second crimp here. So uh, now all I got to do is uh, get uh, get myself arranged and get this crimp in place. And I'm just going to throw my little thing on here just to keep these from moving. All right, now just a just a little light pressure on that. So now we'll get this baby centered up here. Can and I'm wondering if it might not be better. See it inside, I believe it would be better.
All right, and then we just uh, we just check it with the gauge here. Let's see what we got here. And uh, thirty seconds is this one right here. And we're all good. On to the next one. It's, it's, it's be a lot easier with two people, but it's working out fine. All right, so I got, uh, I've got those all done. You can see my, my swages right here. They look really good. Um, and uh, they're, uh, everything's, been, everything's been checked with the gauge and everything fits, uh, fits like it should. Um, you can see that right here. Uh, they all fit really nicely, so that's that's good news. Now, all I got to do is put. Uh, I'm gonna put the uh, uh, floorboard um, back in the plane. Floor, so I'm gonna wipe them off real quick. Now I'll get to, uh, I'll get this up in here, and uh, I'll get the floorboard bolted in. Got those two screws right here. Now you can see why uh, why it was important to me to put put these brass uh, inserts in for the uh, for these screws for the floorboard and the seat because they get especially in this part of the process it seems like they they come in and out a lot so. Plans call for a wood screw, but this I like this a lot better. So, all right. Now we're just going to run our cables Side. Just the way they sit in the uh, in the fitting there, outside cable is going to go back to the uh, to the rudder steering. Through here, through the fair lead. Back 
back to there. All right, now I'm going to take. Uh, I'm just going to take some plants, and I'm going to just put a little finishing on these. It's not not a lot, just a little bit. All right, so you can see how the uh, how they come from the petals, um, and uh, they go up over the seat. They go through the uh, fair leads right here. Um, nothing's in my way here. This looks good. That looks good. That'll all be out of the way, no problem there. Um, and what I'm looking for is where we might need some anti-chafing to happen. And it looks to me like here is a, is a spot that's going to need some of that, uh, need some, uh, some thin uh, PTFE or uh, some type of uh, plastic there to protect that and then uh, there's some in both of these locations here uh, gonna need a little bit a little bit of protection here and here when that has tension on it which I can't really put a lot of tension on it right now because it, it doesn't it doesn't quite sit on there, but that's going to need some protection in this location and this location. And it's going to need, uh, we're good here. There's no problem. Um, we are good on this side. There's no problem. No, no interference over here. And, uh, but we're going to need it here. And we're going to need it there. And we're going to need it there. And that will take care of uh, that will take care of that. You can see how these come back and they they go through these uh, these fittings back here that act as the fair leads toward the back. So that's all good, and so that's for the that'll connect right here to the steering arm, and of course these go on up to the uh, to the rudder steering right here. So to so the turnbuckle, and uh, that's. So that's that. Good progress, nonetheless. Um, we're going to get in the uh, elevator cable. Uh, I'm sorry, the uh, elevator trim cable. We'll get that installed. And we'll get the uh, elevator uh, control cable installed. And then we're going to put the... Uh, we'll just test fit the headrest. And then uh, install um, the seat belt. Um, so that we can uh, figure out where that goes and we'll have we'll have to install our bracket That goes back here because the seatbelt cable goes through that and then gets connected right here, so All right, so uh, hey, that's a uh, another uh, another step in the right direction and uh, Which makes me really happy and uh, hey, I uh, will catch you later <laughs>